In high school, I worked with a kid named Noah. Now, Noah was a very bright kid, and out of all the Kumon students I've worked with, he um, had a lot of drive and motivation. But just one problem was that he struggled a lot in basic mathematics without any support. Um, and when he joined Kumon, this was the first time when he actually got a lot of personalized one-on-one -on -one tutoring um, and support for his career. Now, um, his later success um, was actually something that was shared by a lot of the students that attended these private uh, tutoring sessions that I noticed throughout my career um, as a tutor was not shared by people who didn't have personal tutoring. And so um, this really is a testament to the exponential impact um, of personalized tutoring on possible future success. And so um, I want to introduce you guys to a shocking statistic. Um, half of the 16 million college students in the United States are struggling because of the old-fashioned teaching methods that don't give them enough attention that they need in order to succeed. At the same time, most of the tutors are limited to upper-class families, making it difficult for regular people to um, actually be able to access these higher-level resources. Um, and so that's why we're introducing Adapt ED, a conversational AI lecture that adapts to you. Now, what is this, right? Um, so Adapt ED is a platform that allows students to um, ask questions while a AI lecturer is talking live, interrupt them, and be able to revise the lecture slides based on the question that they ask. Um, and so the real question is, what is missing in the educational environment? You have things like Khan Academy, ChatGPT, and all these other resources. But the main thing is that all these platforms lack an accessible assistant who can talk to you in real time and also help you make decisions. Now, um, making learning a two-way street is something that has not been done before. Um, there's a lot of platforms that try to accomplish this, like with uh, Coursera, Khan Academy, but what, what we really want to do here is that we want to um, make the, the entire learning experience bi-directional. So not only does, it, does the user and student learn from the AI, but the AI also learns from the student and is able to um, collect visual and audio data, which it then translates um, into actions um, and slides that it will show the student. Um, so it's very personalized and it's something um, that isn't simply just a static slideshow showed to every single student. Um, and so um, the entire idea that we're going to get at here is that this is a personal professor for every single student. Um, the idea here, it's, it's not just a one size fit all. We have a professor that adapts to students instead of the other way around. Um, and so the entire process of the UI is very simple. Um, we begin by entering a topic. Um, then we would have a data aggregation, which is essentially pulling data from a lot of different uh, platforms, for example, Wikipedia, YouTube, um, essentially putting this in one place um, and being able to extract important information that it then puts on the slides. Number three is actual generation on the slides. Now we have an initial generation, but we also have have um, slides that are generated as the person asks questions and interacts with the AI lecturer. Um, and so we introduce a lot of these other things, but I um, also want to introduce you guys real quick to our tech stack. Um, so I don't really want to uh, go over this too much. Um, we'll, be, we'll be showing you this in our demo, um, but here's kind of a quick overview of uh, just like the, the main things that, that we do at Adapt ED. And I'll hand it over to um, my teammates to talk a bit more about the demo. Hey, I'm Spike, and I'm really excited today to share Adapt Ed, a game changer in education worldwide. We're building an adaptive, personalized, and interactive lecture system powered entirely by AI. You give it a topic that you want to learn about, it will research that topic and then build an interactive slideshow presentation where you can interrupt and engage with the lecturer, simulating a personal tutoring environment. Our goal is to bring college-style education or college-level higher education to everyone, no matter their socioeconomic status. So in this example, I, had, I just had to generate um, slides for red-black trees, which are a computer science concept um, that are a little more technical and something that might be harder to explain in a normal classroom environment. This will be an extra resource for students to learn the material and understand the information in a simple and personalized way. If I click start. Binary search trees are fundamental data structures that maintain order among their elements. Each node in the tree has at most two children, with smaller values residing in the left subtree and larger values in the right subtree. This property enables efficient searching, insertion, and deletion operations. Balanced search trees, such as red-black trees, address the potential issue of unbalanced binary search trees where the height can become linear in the worst case. They ensure a logarithmic height, leading to efficient operations with a time complexity Excuse of log n. I have a question. Where does the term red-black come from? That's a great question. The term red-black in red-black trees actually refers to the colors assigned to the nodes in the tree. Each node in a red-black tree is either red or black. This color distinction is used to maintain the balance of the tree and ensure that it remains balanced, even after insertions and deletions. The red-black tree algorithm uses a set of rules to ensure that the tree remains balanced. These rules include properties such as the root being black, every leaf, null root actually, being black. it's okay. You can keep moving. Go to the next slide. Red-black trees support the standard search, insert, and remove operations found in binary search trees. You went one slide too fast. Go previous slide. Balanced search trees, such as red-black trees, address the potential issue of unbalanced binary search trees, where the height can become linear in the worst case. They ensure a logarithmic height, leading to efficient operations with the time complexity of O log n for searching, 